Do you want more great content from me? Check out the description box down below. Hi guys, it's Adam and welcome to another video. So in today's video, I've got a very quick haul video for you. I've got a box of brass and copper from my uh, most recent auction haul and I thought I would just go, it, go through it piece by piece with you and uh, yeah, show you what I got. So I paid £20 plus commission for this. At least I think I'm about right there. It was either £15 or £20 plus commission, so I'm going for the higher one. So um, yeah, pretty cool. Um, I think there's some decent money in it, but I don't think it's, you know, amazing amazing or really really out there but yeah I'll just show you a few of the pieces so first off we've got this copper and brass kettle here um, now I believe you can date these like by by the bottom here by the way they attach them on I'm not 100% sure on that but I think there's some some way of dating it by these like the way you know the style of how it's been attached on there um, but yeah it's got this like really um, close spout, like it's really really close, normally it's like out further um, I mean it's got quite a small hole to fill uh, to fill with water but it is quite nice actually I don't know whether it's like you know made in this country or whether it's a bit more far eastern kind of has a little bit more of a far eastern look to it from other ones I've seen but I'm not sure but it's quite nice I don't know what I expect to get, maybe 15, 20 quid, something like that I'd have to look at what this kind of style of kettle is going for, but a lot of these like brass copper kettles are around that mark, so yeah, that's that, so it's quite nice. Um, I got some more of these which I could do without, to be honest, I'll see if I can get this uh, tape off, I'll get a couple of out actually. Oh, that's quite nice actually. Oh, I've not, I've not had one of those before, that's quite nice. Um, Bless this house, and then it's got a little, uh, I don't know whether that's a prayer or something on there, but it's quite a nice little sort of uh, wall display type piece that is. So yeah, that's quite cool. I don't know what I'm going to get for that, actually, because I've never even had one, never even seen one before, but yeah, that's quite nice still. Um, but the rest of these, I've got like loads of these type of things. I don't know about this one with it being ship, you know, nautical themed. I don't know whether that helps at any, but a lot of these aren't really like mega desirable. You know, as I say, I've got quite a few of them on, um, but these are like, yeah, these are actually nautical themed, so I've got ships and stuff on. So I think that might help them a little bit, but I'd have to do some more research on that. But I've got ones with like, um, you know, it's like a little table of people, um, I don't know whether it's sort of Georgian time period, a bit before actually, but uh, not the actual age of the piece, but you know, the actual what's going on within the, within the piece. But um, I don't know, they, they just don't seem to be worth all that much money. Um, it's kind of like tinny brass, you know, they're not like really strong, solid brass, they're more like a tinny, when you flick it, it feels very tinny, but... I don't know about these, because I say these are nautical themes, so that might help them a little bit. But there's, there's those in there. I'll do, I'll, I'll do them in a sec. These are um, some, like, fire tools and stuff. Um, don't quite know what that's going to be, but it's some sort of pot or something. I don't know, but that's pretty cool. It's got these little indentations in it. Not sure on that, but it's pretty cool. Um, we've got some random eastern kind of smaller little... Um, little teapots or kettles or something but yeah the only little small ones and we've got some sort of um, looks like Chinese little brass pot thing there these do go for a little bit of money but not not really loads very very bread and butter cat type items um, we've got a random metal maybe pewter or something um, little plate thing there again obviously to hang up on your wall nice little bit of wall decor or something but yeah, you know, it's nothing like major special, but there's that. We've got a couple of nice, couple of nice items in here. We've got um, a pair of the Open Barley Twist uh, brass candlesticks. Um, yeah, they should be like 20, 25 quid, something like that. So, yeah, quite happy with them. They're pretty cool. So they're a nice item, so I'll put them there. Um, we've got another pair of just some standard... I don't know what's on that, some weird... See that there? I don't know whether you can see that very well. I don't know whether it'll focus very well, but there's just some like weird bit of red. Oh, there we go. It's come off now. It flicks off. But yeah, just a random you know pair of candle brass candlesticks, probably about a tenner plus postage. 
Um, so yeah, there then, uh, we've got another little fire tool or something there. Uh, kind of, off, oh, what are we called? What are we called? Kind of off a companion set, that's what we're called. Um, don't know whether there is a companion set in here. Oh my god, this is cool. Oh god, see this is the fun about going through something like with you that I don't really look through properly at the auction. That is massive, that is so cool. It is a massive, like, can you get the scale of this? It is a massive brass key. Actually, I'm going to do a thumbnail with this because it's so awesome. Like that. Um, yeah, that is crazy. Massive brass key. I haven't a clue what this is worth, but it is heavy and it's cool. And that is just a cool piece. Um, so yeah, I really, I'm, I would be guessing at the value of this. I really don't know, but it's definitely over 20 quid, I'll tell you that. I'm pretty sure it would be over that. So yeah, I'll have to do some research on this piece, but it is cool. This is cool. And like keys and stuff, people are quite interested in. There's like a big collector's market for keys. I don't, I don't know specifically what key collectors are called. There is a, a special name for them, like, you know, uh, coin collectors and a numismatist. Uh, you know, key collectors or something else, but that is cool. So that is really cool. I'm happy to find that. Um, we've got a smaller brass key there, so I thought I'd show you that with that one. Um, we've got a little trivet stand. Um, I have like done, I've done these like individually before, and then I've done them in like little bundles. I've, I've sold like little bundles of them for around the £15, that's including postage. Um, but then, yeah, single ones, I don't think I've really... I feel like we go better in bundles. I don't know why, but we seem to go better in bundles for me. So, you know, I'd maybe do two round ones and then maybe a square one. And that seems to go for me quite well. So, yeah, don't know, but there's a nice little uh, trivet stand there. Uh, we've got... Oh, that's that little pot. So I don't know. That's, a, that's the lid for... I'll just show you that. That's the lid for the pot here. So that's pretty cool. So I don't know what would be kept in here actually, because it's got holes in, so it can't be something really, really fine or anything like that. It's got to be something that isn't gonna, you know, it's not. It couldn't be like spices or something that would go for the holes, but it wouldn't be spices anyway because it's too big. But um, yeah, I don't know. That's pretty cool though. It does look quite eastern. It does, oh, I don't know whether no, nothing on the bottom. So, but it does look pretty eastern. Um, we've got. A couple of these little ladies now yeah I think I think I've sold these before now I don't know whether these would have been bells I think they would have been actually because they've got a little bit of string or something left inside so I think these would have been little bells maybe well actually I know that they like I don't know whether it's in Morris dancing or something like that that they use like bigger of these like ladies bells or it's in something that they use the ladies bells or bell winging or something but um, I don't know whether these ones would have been for that purpose because they do seem a bit small, but I don't, I don't know. Um, but yeah, there might be like 10 quid in them, two there as a pair, I don't know, I'll have to double check. But it's not going to be much less if it is, so yeah, that's those. Um, we've got some sort of windmill again, it might have been a bell or something, I don't know. Um, we've got, oh, we've got another little like sort of pair of like four inch candlesticks here. These are not really much money, probably like five quid plus postage, something like that. But I'll probably list them anyway, because I may as well, you know. I might wait for maybe another set and maybe list two together, see if that works. I've never done that, but, you know, I'll, I'll try it out. Um, and then we've got a pair of some sort of like brass milk jugs here, it looks like. So, there then. Nothing amazing special, but still quite nice little pieces. Um, so that's those. And then, last few bits in here, really. Oh, I've seen these loads, but I've, I've never, I don't even know what they do, actually. But I think there's something to do with heating something up. I don't know whether it was, like, tobacco or something. I don't know, but something would go in there, and then you'd heat it up over the fire. I'm pretty sure that's that was the gist of what these were used for, but I've, I've never even looked into it that much. But it does look like, unfortunately, it's coming off. Yeah, it is coming off coming away quite badly I don't know whether you're gonna see that much but it's coming away quite badly we've got a little lid for maybe one of the pots some oh no that'll be from the kettle 
from the kettle that looks like an acorn finial or something. I don't know. I don't know. Maybe it's not. Maybe it's just a bit of wood or something. But yeah, there's that. And then, well, not finally, because I've got them fire hooks and stuff and fire tools to show you. But there's this uh, little, again, little Eastern brass dish, quite nice, like a trinket style dish or something to put some grapes on or something. I don't know. But yeah, so there's them. And then I've got these, like, fire tools here. Um, as you can see. Now, I don't know, I've never I've really had these, like, on this card, but I've never, uh, you, like, I've had companion sets and stuff like that, but I've never had, like, these fire tools like this, um, so I don't know, but they're quite nice because they've got, like, different, uh, oh, this one, one of them's got a Cheshire Cat on, don't know whether you can see them there, I don't know whether it's focusing or not, um, but one of them's got, like, a little Cheshire Cat on, one of them's got a, uh, uh, like a, I don't know, maybe a um, Elizabethan ship or something on. One of them's got a duck. One of them's got a figure of a man who I assume is a famous person. And then one's got a uh, Esmeralda. Es yeah, es Esmeralda. So I don't know, maybe like a dancing lady or something. I don't know. Um, but yeah, they're pretty cool. So I've got to do a bit more research into them. I assume maybe it's a, it's a case of like selling one that, you know, one of these figures up here, if one of those is really good then that might make the piece more valuable, so then you might be able to sell that individually and then the others you sell as a sort of little job lot, but what we've got on these actually, we've got Blackpool, so we've got a picture of Blackpool Tower, Scotch Terrier, uh, it looks like we've got some sort of bird, I think it looks like a mythical bird actually. And then Jenny Jones, who looks like she's working on like a, I don't know what that could be, it's some sort of spinning Jenny type contraption. The reason I say spinning Jenny is just because she's called Jenny Jones, so I don't know. Um, but yeah, so that's those. I don't know whether that's a liver bird, you know that one there? That bird there, I don't know whether that's a liver bird. But I don't know. Um, but yeah, so that's cool. So I, actually, I'm really, really happy with that. I've got plenty of value there, I can see there's plenty of value. I'm especially excited about this monster. I nearly said monstrosity then, I meant monster. But um, I'm especially excited about this monster, it's cool. It, I know that someone will love this piece, so... I just, as soon as I saw it, my face lit up, I absolutely love it. So, yeah, that's my highlight of the, um, of the haul. So, I'll leave it there, guys. Thank you for joining me. If you did like it, please do, do leave um, a like down below. If you've got any qu comments, questions, or queries, do put them down in the comments box down below. And I will see you in the next one. So, I'll see you very soon, guys.